Alright, today I'm going to be showing you this uh, Buckethead signature lick he does all the time live and on the records or whatever. It's a really great lick. If you're going to be playing it, you're going to need strength in your ring and your pinky fingers, these two right here. Because it takes a lot of coordination between those fingers or whatever. I'm going to show you like a short one and an extended version. Starting at the 12th fret. <laughs> Once you got that down, you can basically do the extended version. This is just a sending and descending lick Buckethead does. It ends on the seventh position right here. And it's all like an octave, so it's really straightforward actually. But it sounds really awesome. I use it in my playing quite a bit. And this is the full extended version of it. That's really it, like, honestly, like, I'll play it a couple more times, because you can add your own style, too, like, you can change it up like Bucket it does, like, he'll be like this. Notice how I go like this instead of this. You can just use all those note sequences right there, like, changing up the style, like, especially, like, on this part when you go like here. like anything like that like oh, I just screwed up that that went out of key but here it is fast right there I actually did a form of um this picking technique Paul shows you where you like hammer onto this like this and then you pick the next three notes like this it's just that technique he does at the end of technical difficulties I mean if you're watching this you've probably seen it I'm assuming at least <laughs> it's a great video lesson and you can do stuff like this too with this pattern to sound like Paul Gilbert just like do this that pattern like this that's like the extended version like I said you can change the styles instead of going like this you can do just anything like that Buckethead does that kind of stuff like all the time and you can add it to this too like you can just like change up the style of this lick this lick really works with um like stuff like that yeah <laughs> I don't even know what I just said but um yeah I do this lick a lot in my playing and uh that's really it honestly like just practice it a lot make sure you have your coordination like this Just have that coordination down and you'll be able to do that in no time. Have your pick hold held right. Like this. I like Paul Gilbert or Buckethead. That kind of base my picking style off of. Really you can do improvising with that lick too. It's just an amazing lick. Let's see if I can do it fast right now. My hands haven't really warmed up. A bunch of people are asking me to do this so I did it for you guys. Here you go. Guess it one more time. Notice how I um change up like the pattern almost like every time. It's just that you can use the same note sequence. I just go like this. Just changing it up a lot makes it better. Change is good. Don't stay the same. Just your personality. Peace.